And speaking of, of Ring of Honor and TV, the Ring of Honor TV champion and the new Ring of Honor TV champion, Samoa Joe. Wow, what a main event on Wednesday between Suzuki and Samoa Joe. Yeah, it was a great match. So, uh, Suzuki and Samoa Joe uh, had an absolute physical, hard-hitting, barn-burning classic. It was, it was tremendous. Uh, very, very happy Suzuki uh, was able to uh, come and defend the championship. And uh, I know that he's got a crazy schedule. And with his crazy schedule, it was a very tough task uh, with Samoa Joe. And I think Samoa Joe benefited from that. And I think Samoa Joe, frankly, is a tough matchup for absolutely anybody in the world of wrestling. And uh, now he's a great champion. He's the longest reigning Ring of Honor world champion of all time. And now he's in his first reign ever as the Ring of Honor TV champion. So I'm, I'm very excited for that. You know, Tony, after that match, obviously, we, you know, because of Jay Lethal, we saw Satnam Singh, you know, him make it his first appearance on AEW TV. How hard is it to debut somebody brand new that most fans have probably never seen before? I could have done it better. It's like, you know, it's one of those things. Um, I wish I'd done it a little differently because the fans are always going to be right. So if the fans don't like something, sometimes there's some things about it that where you're trying to get heat, which is a trying to get heat situation. People aren't always going to love it. But there were like things about it I probably should have done differently now I see in hindsight. And to be honest, it wasn't my idea to turn the lights out. But I am the ultimate filter. I'm the person who everything goes through. Is I, I put the outline of the show together and when i came in wednesday i thought it was the best outline i've ever put together one of them at least like it was this belt it was as much strong wrestling as you could possibly fit into the program and i thought up until that point the show was excellent and then that was the one thing we kind of went off on people might not have liked it satinum is an important person for us he, it, it was important to debut him in a meaningful way and to show that uh, with Jay Lethal, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. At the same time, turning the lights out for somebody people didn't recognize, it's a great point. And to be honest, uh, when the person, well, the person who brought up turning the lights off has over 30 years of experience in pro wrestling. And when they brought it up to me, I was only looking at the pros and I should have thought about the cons because that is my job as the person who decides what goes in and the, who filters out these ideas. We had all these people in the room and somehow not one person uh, when that idea came up, brought out the negatives. And then when we did it, all of a sudden, all the negatives were very obvious. Uh, so I look, if I list, I'm not going to say who it was. And I'm also not, I don't need to list all the credentials, Mark included of all the great wrestling people around me and in the production meeting. But, you know, it was a lot of veteran people. And, uh, you know, to be honest, nobody said that. But then when it happened, I agree with the fans completely. So it's, it's uh, awfully big of you, Tony, to, 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 to take the pros with the cons, the good with the bad. And, you know, you could easily just say, you know what? Like, it is what it is. But, you know, you really don't have to apologize. But I feel like it, it's honorable to Thanks. the fans to, to be able to them to hear you say, you know what, guys? Sometimes I miss. Yeah. And when you miss, we all miss. So uh, you can't embody all that on your own. Well, thanks for saying that, Mark. I mean, like I said, when, when it came up, you know, I said, oh, you know, that could work. That's different. I was looking for how to physically get him in there for that moment. And somebody, like I said, with over 30 years of experience said, well, we could turn the lights out, do this and this. And I went, okay, okay. And I should have seen the negatives before we did it. And I really didn't see them until we actually it actually happened. And then I was like, okay, sure. Uh, but that's not Satin's fault. It's definitely not Jay Lethal's fault. Uh, and so uh, I, at the same time, I, I'm very excited for it. I think it created a lot of buzz. It, it, Satinum's debut has been the most watched thing out of the show. And frankly, it's gotten international attention. I wanted it to get, but I didn't want it to, you know, uh, loom over a lot of great stuff on the show either. And I don't think it has or it will. No. Because there's a lot of great wrestling on that show. And I, I'm, so I'm really excited about that. But the fans are always going to be right. So, like, uh, I think uh, it's one of those times where, you know, I, I, I appreciated what their feedback was. And now, as I am in my third year of doing this, uh, I would not do that that way again. And these are the things you learn going into year three that I would do different in year four or five. Um, but nevertheless, it was a, a great, great night of wrestling. We did a great, great rating. And I expect another great night tonight on Rampage. 